YouTube. It's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker, here at my desk with, of course, another haul of stuff from the Goodwill bins. Goodwill by the pound. Uh, they have different prices for different items per pound, like shoes and media and breakables, etc. If you have one near you, or if you don't know if you have one near you, go ahead and Google it and see if you can find one. So I have what's on my table. And then I'm going to start over here as well. So I got these three cords with the uh, lights. Uh, they had some houses there. They were pretty banged up. So I just took the cords. There are three of them. A lot of times I find things that require, uh, you know, the light, but it doesn't have it. I know some of you have wondered what my pillow in the background says. Don't quit your daydream. <laughs> Then I got these, these are wooden. I mean, I'm supposed you could paint them or do something with them, but they are new. They got, uh, where is it? Mm, yeah, where you hang it up, it still has the cardboard on it. So there's two of those. So I will probably put those in my booth. I had some things that wouldn't fit on the table. I have a couple of army men. Uh, I had, this is a patch. I have a couple of little action figures. Uh, this cuts open envelopes. Those are tissues. This is a... Uh, uh, the Boy, the Man, the Complete Adventure. That's a pin. This is a tape measure. That's a little, like the little squishy beanbag toy. It's a little kitty cat. A uh, golf ball, a marble. Yeah. And then over here, there's a piece of fabric. Uh, looks like it was from Walmart. It's got little Christmas trees on it. These, uh, I'm just going to put these uh, in the mystery bags. Uh, these are supposed to be put on lights. So I don't know. But there's a bag of those. And then there's a whole bag of old Light Bright. Uh, the little pegs, little plastic pegs. So I'll be counting those out and divvying those up. Those will go on eBay. Got a whole bunch of stickers. There's always tons of craft things at the bins, in my experience. So we have uh, some Tinkerbell, some appointment stickers. There's another appointment sticker. Uh, let's see. These we got ladybugs and some like three-dimensional winter uh, gift tags wedding uh, the little all oh, these are probably vintage the what is it something lions I think I don't know but we got different little fuzzy animals and then of course some um, uh, Cinderella uh, we have this vintage frame still in the box that'll probably go in a mystery bag um, I have this little fuzzy keychain these are Oh, under here, this is a book of postcards, so I'm probably just going to take those out. There's 50 of them in there. And put those in my mystery bags. Oh, and there goes stuff on the floor. These, I think, are patches, iron-on patches. Yeah, and there's three Wonder Woman. Uh, there's a pad of paper. There's some flowers. Do you remember these in the envelope? It's supposed to be like old, you know, paper currency. <laughs> So, again, those will go in my mystery bags. I have these little blow-up sticks from the calves that you bang them together and they make that sound. Bam, bams. Uh, let's see. I got this little, I guess he's a little baby chicken. Um, these are napkins, but I think they will be nice to wrap up some breakables um, that go in the mystery bags. And I think it's kind of pretty. Um, I have under here, too, is a big thing of tissue paper. I looked around because I was giving a gift, and the only tissue paper I had was eBay. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it's nice to have some white tissue paper, but it got buried here. <laughs> These are kind of cool. It's a whole box of... Um, they're just little, uh, little magnets. Now, they had a whole bunch of this, what do they call it, uh, Creative Memories... They had a lot of stuff, but it was pretty banged up, so I got that. I'll, you know, there's like maybe five packs. Got a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> I got this uh, stuck on you cross stitch kit, 
We have one of these old-fashioned uh, industrial uh, thread spools. We have some little green moss balls. In fact, up here, hang on, I have, I have a whole thing of, uh, I'm gonna make some uh, different crafts, but I'm trying to clear out a lot of the stuff I have. And I'm definitely gonna be making another one of these with the succulents for her hair. I did really well and sold those previously. Okay, close your eyes, I don't wanna make you sick. Um, found a whole bunch of shells. So these are all wrapped really nice. And then this is a piece of coral. Look at those little baby clamps, aren't they cute? Some more starfish. We have a very scary looking lion that's uh, something you'd find like on a varsity jacket. Uh, uh, more sea seashells. These are uh, starfish. Uh, we have a couple of uh, Don's Bar coasters, some locks, a little chubby bird. We have a uh, bangle bracelet and a little thing of perfume. Um, this is a whole bunch of like just little crafting stuff. There's trees, and that's a teddy bear and. These bells, they could be made into earrings. We have little candy canes, little icicles, and then some of these vintage Santa uh, and more of the uh, candy canes. We have a uh, another keychain. And then this is like a little leather just zip-up purse. It smells like leather and it has a, uh, a metal zipper. Uh, we have some stick-on name tags or labels, uh, little piggy post-its, and then this tiny little quilt. Isn't it adorable? And then sand dollar. I already showed you all that. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, 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 we have a little cart which says fresh farm and carrots, and then carrot farm. That'll go out in the spring. Uh, the black rooster is part of a salt and pepper shaker. I didn't find the other one. So that will go in a mystery bag as well as this little vintage chicken. We have some seabirds. Uh, when I picked the bigger one up, the stand fell off and his beak fell off. So I'm going to have to glue those in. These, this is a very vintage uh, thing to put your glasses on. In fact, I have my glasses right here. Let me... Uh, there. <laughs> so you could put those on your nightstand. That is a vintage piece. We have Grandma's Beauty Bar. We have mustaches. I tell you, you just never know what you're going to find. We have a uh, chimpanzee. We have a cool painted elephant. We have these little Zots clear adhesive dots. Those are nice. Uh, you know, if you're putting different things together, it's nice to have stuff like that. Um, this uh, roll of yarn is the cotton kind. If you see my little thing over there, the cotton, uh, I have cotton in there. That's a little pottery bowl I use for uh, when I'm uh, tying up uh, fabric. So I might make washcloths out of that, or I might just use it in here for that. We have two knobs. We have a Bernie's Mountain Dog magnet, a uh, racing car card, and then two postcards that are vintage and old and very cool. This is one of those uh, fold out, uh, it, it's like a pair of pliers and in, in the handles are like a can opener and a screwdriver and you know, stuff like that. So that'll go in a guy mystery bag. We have a salt and pepper, a little chickens, they're very cute. I love the colors on these, like orange and green. Yeah, they're very adorable and it says made in Japan, so they are vintage. I got a uh, root candle English hyacinth and two of these pans. Aren't they adorable? So those are old. Um, I have this little angel figurine or fairy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not broken or anything. It just has a place to hang it in the back. We have a Rubik's Cube. We have a Joe Cool little little wobbly thing. I have a toilet. <laughs> it's a toilet. Don't ask me why. We have a uh, boat that you wind up and then it just 
you know, drives. It's got little wheels on it. And then we have four different little cars. Um, this little owl with this old lady hat on, it's so cute. So you could put a little flower in there. You could probably put toothpicks. I don't know, whatever you want. We have a very sad basset hound puppy. That one is also very old. I put my toilet. And we have a blow up emoji with hearts for its eyes. Uh, this little dish is so cute. It's got rabbits on it. We have a one of the what do they call moonshine? They have those different kinds. Old smoky moonshine. It's a pour lid. So who doesn't need that? Uh, what else? Locks I already showed you. And then here was a whole bunch of, uh, as I dropped them on the floor, these are iron-on patches. So I may just uh, have some iron-on patches in my booth. Maybe I'll bag those up. I put $2 on them, but I don't know. Some of the smaller ones maybe I'll just put in a, a mystery bag. We have a very small tire gauge. Uh, we have two games. This one is a King's drinking game. And then in here is a story cubes. have no idea. It's got like dice in it. We have um, we have two uh, bottle openers. What do they say? Uh, Alcazar Hotel. I have no idea where that is. Is that another one? Same one? Yeah, so I don't know what those are from. We have another one. Man, I remember these. My mom would use those because we used to get the tomato juice in the big can. Yes. Got it? Get it. Not for resale. That'll go in a mystery bag. We have a uh, real pretty handled uh, bottle opener and then a wine stopper. Uh, again, more creative memories. I needed another pair of scissors, so I guess it's as good as any. We have a luggage tag. Uh, these, I don't know if these were ornaments, but I think they're kind of pretty. You could even put a little string and use them for a uh, bookmark, maybe. Um, and then I'll go over what's in here. Now, uh, I was very happy to find these little play dishes. They are very old. Uh, several of them were broke, but I did get a cup and saucer, two of those. And then this little pitcher. Oh, it's so sweet. Isn't that sweet? And then we have the willow plates. My grandmother used to have these. And then, of course, they say made in Japan, so they are old. I'll do some research on these uh, and see how they do, or I might just sell them individually in my booth or as a stack. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Do you guys know what this is? It's a little brass piece, and I was thinking maybe it's like a little ashtray, and you have, you know, your cigarette sitting there, and then resting there. I don't know, but it's a little brass fish. We have two uh, Pikachus. And then these are also very old. Two Disney plates. Very old style Mickey on there. Those are made in Japan, so it's just the same design, just bigger. Um, a little charm that's a witch's hat. This is a coin from the Cleveland Zoo. Uh, found somebody's keys. I don't know what that's to, but uh, we got a little key ring here too. I don't know. We have some stickers that say new or sale. And then this very cute tray. They put the price tag. This. They put the price tag on the paper. So guess what? It ripped. I don't know what kind of education you have not to know to know not to put a sticker and the whole bottom is got it's just metal so I'm probably I have a couple more pieces of uh, you know some pretty paper I'll put down in there and use that I'll go ahead and sell it um, we have some uh, uh, this little packet is got some earbuds this Saks Fifth Avenue is a little compact mirror what else? Oh, this is really cute and old. It's the Miro Fancy Cookies and Pastries. And it's this very old book with recipes. Very cool. So that will go in a mystery bag. Let me look around and make sure I didn't forget anything because I always manage to forget stuff. 
But uh, yeah, pretty good, decent size haul. I paid $36 for everything. So got some stuff for mystery bags, got some things to uh, sell, like my birds over there, and a couple things for myself, my scissors, uh, just all kinds of little, you know, bits and pieces, which is normally what you find when you go to the bins. So I'm sorry if this, you know, video was very bumpy ride, but I'm just, uh, I worked outside in the yard and it's so hot. We're supposed to get some bad weather, so I was trying to get out there and beat the clock. So I thought, oh, I'll go in my office and cool off. And then I thought, well, then I'll set up for a video. So that's why you ain't seeing me, because I look like somebody drug me in an alley and beat me up. <laughs> so I'm going to go off to the shower, but I wanted to show you guys this stuff. And I'll be making some more mystery bags. So the mystery bag saga is there are two other people selling mystery bags in my mall. And I'm not happy about it. It's aggravating that people uh, can't find their own ideas. Uh, but I have told myself I'm going to keep doing what I do. I put good stuff in mine. I have a continual supply of items that I'm finding to put in them. And uh, there's only a few mystery bags in some of the other booths. And I don't know what's in them and I ain't buying them to find out. So there you go. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Do you, have you ever been to a Goodwill Bins? And what did I find here today that you liked? Uh, what would you have picked up? Because I always like to know that. So, I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye!